Hello, this is Brian again. Welcome to the next clip of my eucalypts of Skabarn Park, Roland Heights, California. So part two, just talking more about Carimbia maculata, some of the seed capsules and other features, and started talking about Calistamen citrinus, the bushy bottle brush. Well, we have another bottle brush relative here. This is Melaleuca linaria folia, flax leaf paper bark, and also known as snow in summer. Because in the summertime, which is a little too early now, it's only the end of March, this tree will be covered in white. It'll look just like it were snow or frost covered. Linaria folia comes from the very linear leaves. The Melaleuca, the genus Melaleuca, this is Melaleuca linaria folia, Melaleuca and Calistamen are very closely related, and some botanists now link the genus Calistamen into Melaleuca. So, I noticed these the trees have been here for a very long time. Uh, right now, they are not doing so well, to be honest with you. A lot of these are dying off. I don't know why, but you can see some more of them here seem to be dying off. Kind of sad because I've always enjoyed seeing them here. You know, we got more spotted gums, more Carimbia maculata. There's another species of eucalyptus here. I'm trying to see if I can remember where it was. It was somewhere here in the park. There's another species that I don't see very often. Let's see if I can find it first. See if I can find it. Hope I find it. Really, yeah, bummer not to find it. Oh, here's a western red bud right here. Circus orbiculata or Circus occidentalis. Just passes bloom, leafing out. All right. Let's see if I can find this other eucalyptus species. I know I've seen it before. Here we are. I don't see this one very often. This is white iron bark. This is Eucalyptus leucoxylon. Here are the juvenile, obviously arranged leaves. And the adult leaves are alternate and narrow. Light colored bark. Kind of similar to eucalyptus sideroxylon, red iron bark, very similar seed capsule.
a couple of these here actually. Yeah, here's some healthier, healthier examples of flax leaf paper barks or snow in summers. I'm gonna go. There's another white iron bark further up, but I want to show you some healthier Melaleuca linaria folias. So again, this is a relative of Eucalyptus. So again, in the Myrtle family, the Myrtaceae, and it has it just gets covered with these really soft, delicate-looking white flowers that make it look like it's snow-covered. Again, paper barks, Melaleucas. Melaleucas are often called paper barks. The bark's kind of papery, kind of spongy to the touch. Honestly, kind of similar to uh, non-native giant sequoia. And, just like bottle brushes, they get little woody seed capsules right along the stem. So, here's Melaleuca linaria folia. These are really cool. I love Melaleucas. I, I, I love the Myrtaceae. Real family is just chock full of really cool trees and shrubs and plants. It's just, it's just really cool. But there's the white iron bark right there, Eucalyptus leucoxylon, L-E-U-C-O-X-Y-L-O-N. So here's a much healthier example of Melaleuca linaria folia. Again, related to the eucalyptus, and just like eucalyptus in Calistamen, they have resinous fragrant leaves. Melaleucas also have their, their own brand of fragrance. This is also very delectable and nice. There's a slightly fuller crowned Eucalyptus leucoxylon, white iron bark. This is the only place that I've seen them up close, to be honest with you. So you can see here, sickle shaped leaves, sickle shaped adult leaves that are alternately arranged. Rounded woody seed capsules. Some eucalyptus seed capsules are kind of similarly shaped to urns, like eucalyptus sideroxylon, and this one, leucoxylon, the white iron bark. What a beautiful tree. I always thought they would be more upright, but then again, not so much. Quite a beautiful tree here. So that's white iron bark, Eucalyptus leucoxylon. Trying to see if I can get closer to some seed capsules and the trees. Yeah, the seed capsule is a little bit larger than Sideroxylon, but similarly shaped, but not clustered like like uh, Sideroxylon. Eucalyptus Sideroxylon seed capsules are usually clustered. These ones are more or less solitary. Or a couple of them, but not as clustered as Eucalyptus. Sideroxylon. And they are kind of, uh, the little slits inside are a little depressed, kind of like Carimbia species. But I think Carimbia species are usually a little bit more so. so. I was thinking there was another species of eucalyptus here, but I, I haven't seen it. I was thinking maybe eucalyptus cladocalyx would be here. But. I don't think I've seen that one here yet. I don't think I've seen that one here. Wow. The wonderful, oh, ah, the wonderful world of eucalyptus. Here at Skabarum Regional Park. Several species of eucalyptus and eucalyptus relatives. Definitely a place to come check them out. So. Get your urban forestry self going and check out some of these trees when you're hanging out in these luscious little parks. Actually, this one's quite large. <laughs> but again, Melaleuca linariafolia, another relative 
this little seed capsules. So this is going to basically end the series. Um, so species so far, species I've seen so far in this park, Eucalyptus viminalis, managum. Eucalyptus, there's also Eucalyptus globulus too. I don't know if I'm going to wrap it up quite yet. I'm going to see if I can find a Eucalyptus globulus before I ace out. Eucalyptus globulus is here too. Blue gum. I better go see if I can locate that before I start heading out. So stay tuned for one more clip. I'm going to go find a blue gum eucalyptus and I will go and shoot some video of that. That's another species here. And then I'll finally wrap up, uh, summarize everything that we've talked about and I'll see you on the last clip.